I'm Kevin Edwards with Bankers Compliance Consulting. And on December 1st, 2021, uh, FinCEN updated the FFIEC BSA exam manual. So what does that mean for you? Well, it's an open book test, so you might want to take a look at these new sections and uh, see if there's anything you might need to tweak in your program to make sure that you're ahead of the game when you have your next BSA review. Now, what did they change? Well, there's a brand new section on customers that you might want to take a look at. It's only a couple of pages long, so it's well worth the read. Um, but then they've also provided new and updated sections to three other portions of the BSA exam manual. The first one is a uh, modified section that has to do with charities and nonprofit organizations. Uh, then they have another section where they talk about independent ATM owners and operators and how they should be evaluating your processes there. Uh, and then finally, on politically exposed persons. So uh, you might want to take a look at them. It's uh, the latest and greatest has just uh, come off the press. And so then you can know what if there's something you might need to tweak or document a little bit better uh, in your program. We will also be covering this in our BSA AML update webinar that's coming up in uh, 2022. So we will go back through all of 2021. We'll talk about the guidance. Uh, we'll talk about this exam manual update in depth. And then we'll also t give you, uh, you know, some some bits and pieces about what FinCEN has been updated uh, updating with respect to that BSA AML reform law that was passed. So hope you can join us and uh, get up to speed on everything that's been going on over the last 12 months.